The city of Austin, Texas, look at this, it's now flooded with homeless people, creating a crisis, the likes of which residents say they have never seen before. And it all started when Austin's mayor and the city council members, they voted to end that ban on public encampments. That happened back in 19, I mean, 2019. Fox and Friends Enterprise reporter Lawrence Jones went to see the conditions firsthand, and he joins us now. Lawrence, you're from Texas. I'm sure this is heartbreaking for you. Yeah, born and raised, and I think the sentiment that you're starting to see is you have uh, these folks that have moved from California to evade this same problem there, and now it's showing up in Texas. I had the opportunity to talk with residents on how it's impacting them. Also, the leadership, Ainsley, take a look. If you're down here, you're ready to party. It's a busy city. We came out just to have some fun. It's a great time. Everybody's safe. It's America. It's my home. This used to be one of the crown jewels of Austin, but as you can see, another tent city. It's never been like this before. I'm a Democrat, but I have learned my lesson. I'm freaked out. Something needs to be done. Two years ago, the city council voted to get rid of a city ordinance that banned camping on public land and parks. The result, 11% increase in the homeless population. You have people that are assaulted, people who are robbed. We've had home invasions. One night, I was at my neighbor's house and we saw them cleaning their guns. You found needles? Yes, I saw this thing on the floor. I didn't know what it was. I picked it up. Austin is starting to look like skin roll. Th that is the last thing I want to have happen. The guy's walking around here with a machete threatening people. It started with box cutters as a weapon. Now we, sadly, we joke that we're the machete capital of Texas. This May, the city residents got their voice back when they voted in a landslide victory to reinstate Prop B. So what is the city leadership doing here in Austin? The city of Austin lets them do whatever they want. Please do your drugs. Leave your needles with uncapped so little kids can find them and get hep and AIDS. It's ridiculous. You are harboring drugs, sex trafficking, all sorts of crime in these tents. And we, as a people and as citizens, are left to fend for ourselves. Do you want that to be the image of Austin? One of the reasons I don't like that image is because I don't think it's true. A guy is walking around right outside of City Hall with a machete, threatening people. That's illegal. That's breaking the law. And, and, and we're dealing with a, with a tough challenge. They voted to defund the police last year and reallocate money. And as such, officers are leaving at very high rates. I think the cause the of our illness that is taking over our city is failed leadership. I got to tell you, I talked with the cops. They tell me that they want to be able to enforce the laws, but they've been told stand back. My police chief tells me that's not true. I'm gonna fight, and if I know one thing, is change is constant, and we're gonna vote them out. We could either escape, and we could run from this problem, or we can face it straight on, and we can make a positive change. You have a commitment to go and engage these members of the public to come up with some sort of solution. Absolutely, it's my practice, and I've been doing that. Ainsley, many of the residents feel that defunding the police has exacerbated the crisis. And just yesterday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott vowed to sign a bill to ban cities from doing that anymore. Crazy story in my home state. It is unbelievable why they're allowing this to happen. I know they say because we have a big heart, but why don't they just build shelters for them and help them uh, get jobs? shelters, get them the treatment that they need. Texas had a, has a lot of money because we don't have a state tax right. uh, and we have managed our money well. People don't want to see Texas look like California. When you have mm -hmm. kids that are picking uh, up needles, this becomes a public safety right. uh, crisis now. Yeah, when that child said he picked up someone's needle, you're right. People are moving from California down to Texas to get away from all of that. Lawrence, congratulations on becoming the Enterprise Reporter. <laughs> You have earned that title. Thank you, my friend. So You're great welcome. to officially join the Fox and Friends family. We are so happy to have you. We just adore you and <laughs> um, are so happy that you're part of the team. Well, you know I love you guys, I love so you thank too. you, my we friend. We all love you, and you always say family.